Now we need to discuss dividing fractions. So the first thing we have to talk about is what a reciprocal is. So a reciprocal, um, it actually has a technical definition that, hap uh, that happens to relate to the identity element, but we're just gonna go over the basics of it, which is just flipping it over or just um, inverting it. So if I wanna talk about the reciprocal of a fraction, what the reciprocal of a fraction, such as 2 thirds that I have written down here, is, is just flip that thing over. So 2 thirds, and it doesn't equal, I'm going to just write the double-headed arrow, it goes to 3 over 2. That's its reciprocal. Now if I talk about a whole number, I can say that it's 1 over the number, or I can flip over a whole number's meaning, which is a num the number over 1, I can just flip that fraction over. So at any rate, um, what I get for the reciprocal of the whole number is 1 over whatever that whole number was, so 1 over 5 in this particular case. Now if I want the reciprocal of a mixed number, before I can ever do that, I have to make the mixed number into an improper fraction. You cannot take the reciprocal of a mixed number as it stands. So in reciprocating this, first step is to get a mixed number into an improper fraction. 3 times 4 plus 1, so 12 plus 1, which is 13, and then that 13 over the original denominator, 4. Now from that improper fraction, I can find the reciprocal 13 fourths. The reciprocal of 13 fourths is 4 over 13. Now that we know how to find the reciprocal of a fraction, we can do division because it's a very easy process from there. So we have some division problems and I don't think I'm going to do all of these. I think I'm just going to set them up and then you can finish them up as, in terms of what their answers are. So for example number 11 here, um, part A, in order to divide, I multiply by the reciprocal. What that means is I'm going to invert the divisor. Remember, the divisor is the second number. And then I'm going to multiply that reciprocal by the dividend, the first number. And then once I am that, at that point, I'm just, or I'm just multiplying, just like I did in the last example. So it's multiplication problems. So 5 eighths divided by 2 thirds is 5 eighths divided by two-thirds here and you always should write down your original problem on your when you're doing your work so we have five-eighths now and five-eighths is multiplied by the reciprocal of two-thirds so that's three halves once we get there we have a multiplication problem multiplication problems remember we look for canceling no canceling exists we multiply straight across the numerators. 3 times 5 is 15. Multiply straight across the denominators. 8 times 2 is 16, giving us 15 sixteenths. 15 and 16 are one number apart, therefore I know there's no reducing, so I know I'm finished. And then my next one, 5 eighths divided by 3 quarters. So 5 eighths, and I'm not going to write the entire thing this time because of time, but you should be writing your original problem. 5 eighths multiplied by, and then I take the reciprocal of the divisor, so 4 over 3 this time, and then I look for canceling like I do with any multiplication problem. So I see that 4 and 8 has something in common, so I'll take that out. 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and that's my canceling. 5 times 1, which is equal to 5, and 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. 5 and 6 are one number apart again, so I'm going to just go ahead and box my answer. My next problem, we have 5 eighths divided by 3 fifths. So I'm going to copy down my dividend, my first number, multiply it by the reciprocal of my divisor, my second number. So the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which is equal to 5 thirds. And now I'm looking for canceling because I'm in a multiplication problem. No canceling possible, so I multiply straight across the numerator. 5 times 5, which is 25. 8 times 3, which is 24, and now I see an improper fraction, which needs to be changed into a mixed number. 24 goes into 25 one time, 